Hi, welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and as the thumbnail said, what is an ELAD? Well, the ELAD FTM Duo is a different type of radio. It's almost like having two radios in one. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully we're focusing. It's pretty sunny out here today, I can't see. I'll try to uh, get a close-up shot. There's the back, the front, and there's the back. The FTM Duo is a QRP radio, but it's not just a, any QRP radio. Like the uh, IC705, it's an SDR, and also like the uh, KX2, which is also an SDR radio. And there's that. There's the two together. Now size-wise, they're it's not as it's not as small as the KX2. Screen size is a little bit smaller. Screen is basically the same. Not as nice as the IC705 screen, unless you hook it to a computer. And then I would say, probably better, depending on the size of your laptop or your computer. Now the FTM Duo is a SDR radio, but it's also a standalone radio, much like the KX2 and the, C and the IC705. The screen is really nice on the IC705. But the, the big difference is when you hook this radio, the ELAD FTM Duo, to a computer, it's more like a Flex or a Non or a Sun SDR. Whoa. You mean it can do standalone and it can do like a Flex? Yeah. And it does it really, really well. So today I'm going to show you more of the standalone stuff. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you something that shows you how powerful this little radio really is. Let's get with the video. And don't forget to hit the like, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and hit the bell, hit all. Let's get started. Okay, so here is the FTM Duo. They call it a multi-use SDR transceiver. Now right here you have the LCD display. There's lots of information going on here in a small space. Not the biggest screen, but it fits a QRP radio pretty nicely. And like I said, once you hook this thing to a uh, computer, you get a lot nicer screen. So you have E1, which is right here. E1 has uh, the functions of setting the audio volume, squelch for the FM, microphone gain, reception gain, AGC, noise reduction, uh, noise blanker, and auto notch. You have this multi-function, like you turn it here, and that's your volume. And then you turn it there. Now you have your squelch. Push it again. AGC. AGC slow. AGC again threshold. Noise reduction. Noise blinker. AN is stands for auto notch. This here, this right here is the main VFO that changes your frequencies. It also has other functions. The available functions is VFO tuning, memory selection in the memory mode, step selection in the VF mode. So, and then you do that by pushing. Okay. So all these all these knobs and buttons have multi-use, just like any other small radio that doesn't have a touch screen or doesn't have the room on the front for extra buttons. Okay. So over here you have uh, your headphone. That's the main audio output for the speakers and for headphones. You have an auxiliary audio out here. E2, uh, available functions set for setting the filters, transmission power, CW pitch, RIT value. And again, it's a push it and it changes where you're at. We're back at filters now. Then you have your menu button right here. Now, if you get, say you want to get uh, TX out, you press it, power, okay. Set it to where you want it, press it, and that sets it. To get out of the menu, just push menu again. You have your A and B over here, so you go there, and there's your B, and there's back to your A. You have your V and M, and your M and V. Now, if you hold these buttons down, let's see what happens. It goes to memories. Hold it down again, and it comes back out. That's what all, most of these will do. This, this button here is your mode button. So right now we're in upper sideband. CW, FM, AM, lower sideband. 
and back to upper side bam. Okay, that pretty much takes care of the front. Let me turn this off, unhook it, and I'll show you the back. Okay, on the back you have an RF out, an REF in. This is your main USB hookup to your computer. That's the one you use the most. Now you have your receive antenna over here and your regular receive and transmit antenna here. You have a ground down here. You have a PTT out, a key and pad down here. This, this is the microphone for your push to talk. And it comes with an electric type mic, which is similar to what they use on the ICOMs. And then these two do different things. Uh, if you want to do FT8 type stuff, digital stuff, one of them has to be hooked up. I think that's the cat one. And if you want to use your audio and stuff out, use the TX also. Then you have EXTIO here. This is your power. And then your on and off switch over here. Now there is no on onboard battery like the IC705 or the KX2. You have to have an external battery. That is one downfall to it, but it's not a big deal because you're usually going to use it with a computer anyhow, and you'll probably have a battery with you. Okay, so there's the back. So here's a comparison with the ICOM IC705 and the ELAD. And there, let me pull back so you can see just a little better. It's, it's quite a bit smaller than the uh, 705, at least side to side and up and down. But look at the size of the screen. <laughs> it's really not comparable. But, like I told you guys before, when you hook this thing to a computer, then you get something like this. Okay? And there's back to the two. The 705 has a nice screen, but I don't think it's quite as nice as the computer screen. And it won't do quite as much, I don't think, either. Alright, check back with me. Pretty soon here, I'm going to have a video on how to add this Bluetooth dongle to your ELED FTM Dual to add a Android tablet that gives you a nice little touch screen when you're in the standalone mode. And you can actually control the radio. So make sure you check back for that. Now in the standalone mode, guys, this radio is pretty average. It's nothing super outstanding. It works, works as it's supposed to, just like almost any other radio that you got out there that's of good quality. But like I said, when you hook it to that computer, it makes this a whole different radio. And now you're talking about being in that oh, Flex, Anon, Sun SDR, those type of radios. Now, I will say also, this radio runs, I think on sale right now, it's $1,050. Half the price of a Flex. But it is only QRP. Now, the deal with that is that you can hook a, oh, say like a RM Italy amp that does 100 watts for five or 600 bucks. Now another another amp that would work really good is the one from Zygu. You know, the 100, what is it, 100, 125 out, plus the tuner. That's the other thing this doesn't have. Just like the IC705, this radio does not have a tuner built in. You have to add an external tuner, unlike the KX2. This radio has the ability to do two different things, and eventually here I'll show you on the on what the what it can do on the computer. It's pretty amazing, guys. Now this radio can do on each band. You have a band A and a, a band B. On each of those, it can do four slices or four frequencies at once. So for a total of eight plus the one on the radio, so you can do nine slices at one time. Slices is what Flex calls theirs. I think the, uh, the, the, the 6400 can do two slices. This is half the price, guys. It's a, like a, under $1,100. With, with an amp, it's about $1,500 or $1,700, somewhere, give or take a few hundred. So still less than a, a Flex 6400. Now, I'm not saying it's a better radio or it's not as good a radio, but it's there, okay? So let's take a look at some of the, uh, the things this thing can do. And then in a, a following video, I'll, I'll break it down better for you guys on the computer stuff. Uh, I'll show you how it does multiple frequencies at one time or slices. And uh, I think you guys will be pretty amazed, especially for the money. Okay, if you look at the box on the right hand side, uh, I'm going to be messing with the uh, THR, which is threshold for your AGC, noise reduction, and uh, sometimes the auto notch. Uh, not very much of that. I don't know. 
open, there's no problem. You just shoot out the woods somewhere. But when there's houses around, it works not too well because now you got to put it somewhere. such thing as a non-ugly ham guy? I haven't seen one yet. Here come to think of it, me neither. Uh, I was getting ready to use a word, but I stopped, th stopped from saying it. I stood no sense you morning, so go for, go for it, Fred. flooding and stuff. Yeah, but then we couldn't eat those cupcakes because they had that word on it, and I was like, I'm not eating Steve. It just takes the word off. Quit in my radio room. Dang it. I have one of those uh, LED lights that looks like a windmill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things are bright when they work. Yeah, I buy the ones, Lester, that look just like a regular old light bulb, but it's LED. Um, I can get them over there at Ace. And they're they're not they're not really really bright. They're uh, well, you can get them in you know forty or sixty or whatever. And I think I uh, think I bought sixty waters, and they're they're just right. So um, yeah, those are the ones I get. How long do they last? Uh, I've had them because I have them out on my uh, like my porch light and. Uh, um, they've been in there at least five years, if not more. 
Mercy. I've got some that are well over 10 years old when they first started coming out. I've only lost a couple of them. You know, I've got them in places where they're used a lot. It must be expensive. Not really. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Remember, down in the bottom in the comments, leave me a comment if you want to see more of what this radio can do. As I use it more, I've only had it for a few weeks, maybe a month, I'll try to show you more of the capabilities of this radio. It's a really, really capable radio, especially when you hook it to a computer, much like the Flex, the Anon, and the SDR Sun. So make sure you hit that like. If you're new here, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos, especially on this radio. So this is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Hope to catch you guys on the airwaves. 73 all.